All right, welcome back to another rambling review. But this review, man, I'm not doing a reaction this time, man. I was going to, but okay. Uh, this rambling review is for Game of Thrones season seven, episode six. I don't remember the damn name of the episode. I'll have it up in the title by the time this video goes up. But this is gonna be a review slash rant because somebody needs to freaking say it. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so, let's just get the review out of the way first. Uh, I really enjoyed this episode. This episode was great. I really enjoyed this episode. Yeah, there was a bunch of stuff that could have did with that. Like, like the whole Arya thing back in, um, like Winterfell with Sansa, that didn't make a whole goddamn lot of sense. But it's also, it is kind of keeping in, in, in their characters, dude, because you got to think, Sansa's been operating in this moral, morally gray area in King's Landing for the, in, and been up in the north, north for the last couple of seasons, where <coughs> Arya has been at the House of Black and White, you know, dealing with things that are a little more black and white. <laughs> Get it? Because, you know, they're more like it's good, bad, where hers are, there's a moral ambiguity to everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really all totally out of Arya's character. It just, the, the, the thing is, it kind of comes out of nowhere with her. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, she won't even get, she won't even, you know, most normal people will buy into this whole, like, would actually listen to what the other person had to say and kind of take into account things that could have happened or might have happened and stuff. But it's like Arya just will not take anything her sister says at face value. Which brings me to my next point. <laughs> I'll get to that in a minute. Just please stay tuned because the rant at the end is what you're really going to want to stay for. I'm, I'm telling you. So, uh, the rest of the episode was freaking uh, great. Even with the, even with you people fucking bitching about the raven can't fly to fucking, like, still great. The whole thing at the end, even though that was really stupid from John, I don't know what the fuck John was thinking down there. Like, like he gay. they all were on the damn, it was a good, like, like time span of, like, five minutes where they were all on the dragon waiting on him, and he was still down there fighting before the goddamn Ice King even threw the fucking javelin at Basirian and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Which, uh, Basirian, you know, we all know Basirian dies. He is now a white dragon. Uh, white as in he's a zombie dragon and now we get uh you know ice king who has the greatest throwing arm of all time <laughs> and stuff and then we have uh you know but then we did get one thing that did uh maybe this was from the books nobody really knows that it may well not from the books but maybe it'll make its way into the books later on but nobody really knows this yet and that's the fact that if you kill Worm White Walker, you kill all of the people around, all of the whites that he created. So there, that means they don't have to fight the white army, the army of the whites. They just have to fight the walkers themselves. So if they kill one walker, it'll wipe out every white that that one walker created in the army. If they wipe out all the walkers, then the army is dead. But if they wipe out the Knights King, then they're all dead. That's not from the books, but I got a feeling that was one of the things that was given to them in the outline by George R. R. Martin, the, the directors and stuff. And, um, you know, like, that would be put out later. But all in all, this was a good episode. Yes, there was a lot of dumb decisions in this episode, but it was still good, nonetheless. All right, now comes the rant part of the video, and you're going to want to stay and listen to what I have to say. Don't just hear one thing I say to jump down here in the comments with your goddamn little fingers flapping like, Oh my god, I can't believe you said that. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, shit. Because you're gonna sound like a fucking idiot. And just know, I don't suffer idiots. At all. So, here's the thing. First thing I want to talk about. The spoilers for this season had ha ha just ruined this fucking season. Now... Personally, I don't care about s spoilers. And I'm not talking about spoilers in like, as in knowing what happened. But spoilers, the spoilers have really showed what the kind of fans, most Game of fans, Game of Thrones fans really are, and not what they've been leading you to believe the, all these years, okay? 
Uh, now, I didn't come in on the bandwagon watching the show from the first season, none of that shit. In fact, I didn't even watch the show till the entire fucking show till halfway through season six. Because I just... Because of the fans. The way everybody acts about it. Because I watched, I remember years ago, I think it was like during season three, I watched the first four episodes of the show and I was like, okay, this isn't whatever. It's not no different than anything else that I, I watch all the fucking time. So what the fuck is so great about it, right? But then as the show goes on, you figure it out. But here's the thing. Yes, yeah, spoilers are always a problem in any TV show, any medium of TV or anything like that. Here's the problem with this shit, though. These, because this year, these spoilers were goddamn 100% accurate. And stuff like it just shows how stupid a lot of you are. <laughs> cause then, cause for us that did read the spoilers, and like I said, I don't mind spoilers. It doesn't. I knew I've been known since before the season began that the Viserium was going down in this episode. I've been known that whole time. And shit, the Viserium was dead in this episode. And I knew Thor. I didn't know Thoros was going to die. But then, like as we got closer and more spoilers and leaks were coming out, well, you know, we knew Thoros was going to die, which leads to the question that a lot of you reactors. A lot of you reactors, especially you group reactors, <laughs> it just shows how fucking retarded you are. Cause look, man, you come, you watch these things, dude, and then you make these predictions. And yes, the spoilers are kind of a natural, like all the spoilers, everything that's happened this season, are natural, kind of natural progressions of stuff that happened in said stories. But here's the thing, though, man. Whenever you people make your predictions at the end of this shit, being the 95% of the fan base has already, know, has already read the spoilers and shit, that you look like a bunch of fools. Okay? You look like a bunch of idiots. Because you completely missed the whole everything, man. And then, and then you sit here and have the, the nerve to say that you're like fucking Super Game of Thrones fans, man. But it's like you don't really watch the episode. You just watch the episode and react to it for the spectacle. <laughs> And stuff, man. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying... Now, see, here's the thing, man. A lot of you will not watch the entire video. You'll probably stop whenever I call your fucking favorite reaction. Group reactors. Retarded! You'll probably stop. You'll probably stop and be like, hey, quit watching the video. Instead of listening out. Now, I'm not saying all of them are. But there are a couple of them. That are like, you know, like you people flocking their channels and shit. Thinking this whole time that they're smarter than they really are, but they're not. <laughs> But the thing is, man, like, and I tried, I tried not to spoil anything for you people. I really did. And stuff. And, you know, I know what happens in the next episode. Like, I know what happens. If you read the spoilers, you know what happens. I even warned you people. In the first freaking review for this show this year, I warned you people <laughs> that this was going to happen. You know? So, yes, this, I think the spoilers more than any other season really hurt Game of Thrones this season, man. But this isn't the thing. Now I'm going to get to the part that really, that's really what this rant is about. And that's like all you entitled fuckers out there who've watched this show from the beginning and you've been spoiled on it. You've been telling me for years that this is the greatest show ever made. It fucking never does anything wrong. It's amazing. Oh, Ninja, why haven't you watched it yet? It's great. They put out one episode that in your eyes is bad and keep in mind, I didn't think this episode was bad in any kind of way. I don't give a shit. You, they put out one episode in your eyes and you found things that were wrong with it. It was not a great episode by regular TV standards. By your standards, not regular TV standards. This is a great episode by regular TV standards, but by your standards, it was horrible. Now you're all pissed and moaning and crying and shit about it. You know, any other show in the world did this shit, you motherfuckers are out there be like calling for boycotts about it and everything else. And you know what, man? Somebody has to say this shit. Somebody has to stand up and say, you people are fucking dumb. You bitch about the fucking thing about the time trap, about the time it takes to go places, and shit like this. Who cares? Like, really? The whole time I was watching, and the, and the hundreds of people that I've talked to out in the real world about this episode, they don't care. Nobody really, and I'm talking about hardcore, like, fucking book fanatics and shit. Don't care about the fucking raven getting halfway across the continent of Westeros in under 30 minutes. <laughs> they don't care. Nobody cares. But you care. 
And you want to bitch about it. And then you have the nerve in the same breath to bitch about all this shit this show does wrong in this episode. But literally, in the next goddamn sentence, you're like, oh, this is Game of Thrones. It can do whatever the fuck it wants. Well, here's the problem. Literally, the sentence before that one, you were bitching about how they were doing what they wanted to do. <clears throat> Get over it, motherfucker. No TV show is perfect. No TV show. Even my all-time favorite TV show of all time is fucking Lost. Yes, Lost. Lost is my favorite TV show. And I can give a fuck less what you think about it. But I will be the first to admit that there are a sh there was a shit ton of stuff wrong with it. And just off the top of my head, we'll go with uh, the Flash Sideways universe, the end, the ending, which I was cool with the fucking ending. You know what I'm saying? But I can see where other people had a problem with it. But I was cool with the problem. The, the writers just kind of backed themselves into a fucking corner with all the goddamn mystery and shit, with all the damn like the the mythology of the show and stuff. You know that the fact that that, that like. Nobody ever talks to each other on that show. And, but that's a lot of shows, man. And then you people bitch about a fucking raven making it back. And you know what? You know what else is fucking crazy? Like, this is one thing that nobody's thought of yet. Nobody. What if the raven never made it to Dragonstone yet? And Danny, being all super concerned for John, decides that she's going to go. Just all of a sudden decides that she's going to go from Dragonstone to across the wall. To go help them, just on a whim, like on a oh my god, I really, I feel like I need to be helping, and she goes, cause they didn't say, and I watched the episode three times, and not one time did they say in that entire fucking scene that there that a goddamn raven was sent, that they got a raven. Seemed like to me she just up and decided to go, cause she was worried about John. Don't believe me? Here's the scene. So here's the thing, man. This is a great episode. Calm down. Game of Thrones fans, I know, man. I know it stings. Welcome to being a fan of regular-ass TV. Taste. It takes five minutes for a raven to get there. There. You ever watch Supernatural? Them brothers go from one side of the United States in the course of a freaking episode off screen all the time. Literally, one scene they'll be in fucking New York like, hey, we need to go to fucking Omaha, Nebraska. They're there literally in the next scene. You people bitched. I, yeah, don't forget, you people bitched about how, how it took them like four episodes to get places in the first couple seasons. Y'all bitched like that without a motherfucker. But now, you're like, what the fuck? All in all, this was a great video, man. I don't care. You could agree with me. You could not agree with me. I really don't care. At all. Doesn't change my opinion of the show one bit. So, if you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell. If you didn't like this, if you didn't like this video, well, you can go fuck yourself. Because I don't care. I really don't. It's going to change shit over here. I really don't care. And as always, motherfucker, never, ever forget. I hate you. I hate you. I don't even know you. And I hate your guts. I hope all the bad things in life happen to you and nobody else but you.